So how do you install Windows 11 onto your VMware ESXi host? You've got an ESXi host, you wanna get yourself a Windows 11 ISO, download that, and then actually get it built, build a VM, and then install it. We're gonna be covering that in this video. Hi, my name is Emilio, and thanks so much for tuning in today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Windows browser right here, our Mac browser. I'm doing this from a Mac, but whatever browser you're doing it on. And we're gonna to navigate to this URL that you see right here, www.microsoft.com forward slash software dash download and you're going to press enter you're going to be presented with this screen right here where we then go and actually download the windows 11 iso now right now as of this video windows 11 is in beta mode uh, that's fine the process will be the same but we're going to be downloading the beta that's not a problem so i've only got the three options available right here on my browser windows 10 8.1 and 7 so if you do have windows 11 listed click on that otherwise i'm going to go and actually get it from here windows 10 inside a preview it was part of the inside a preview. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to download the Windows 11 preview enterprise beta channel right there and click on confirm. So once the ISO has been downloaded, we've now logged into our ESXi host. So through my browser, I've logged into an ESXi host uh, that's already been pre-built. You can do this with vCenter as well, but we're doing this for an ESXi. The version that I've got running here is 6.7, but if you're running version seven, if you're running version five, if you're running version six, that will also work. Hey, why don't you let me know in the description below what version of ESXi, what version of VMware vCenter you've actually got running in your environment because different versions will have different pros and cons. So let me know in the comments below uh, what version you've got. So we're not gonna cover a lot of information specifically around how to use ESXi, how to use VMware. If you are interested, I do have a couple of full length training courses that go into a lot of detail specifically around VMware. So if you are somebody who uses VMware quite a lot, whether that is personally or in a business, uh, in my description below, I've got direct links to those training courses, hours and hours worth of content to make you a better VMware professional. So you can check those out as well. So from here, you'll see that I've got my virtual machines. Here are a list of all of my virtual machines that I've got. And what we need to now do is get our Windows 11 ISO into our data store, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the data store area, so storage, and here is our primary data store. All right, click on my primary data store, select browse. I'm then gonna go into ISO, so I already have an ISOs folder, and I need to go and upload my Windows 11 ISO. So I can click on that, navigate to the Windows 11 ISO that you've just downloaded, and get it in here. And you'll see that mine is right there. Here is my Windows 11. Click on close. So I'm gonna select create, register, create virtual machine create a new virtual machine. Yes, that's fine. And to give this a relevant name. So I'm gonna call it Windows 11. And just for this, we're gonna call it demo. This is just a demo. Of course, you, if you're doing this for your own testing to work in a production environment, you wanna give that a relevant name, of course. So Windows 11 demo. Compatibility, well, the compatibility, and we're not gonna go into a lot of detail around this uh, because I'm assuming that you've already got a bit of an understanding around uh, VMware and ESXi, but we're gonna select a version that is gonna be compatible with all of my ESXi hosts in my environment. So for now, I'm gonna select ESXi version 6.5. The uh, Windows OS is my guest, was my guest OS that I'm gonna be using. And it's gonna be now Windows 10 64 bit. And the reason that's there is because the current version of ESXi uh, doesn't actually know what Windows 11 is. Uh, this is really just for customization anyway. It doesn't really matter what you select because you can change all of the settings. So we're gonna select the latest version as of this ESXi, which is Windows 10. Next, we're gonna select the data store that we want to actually install that VM. Here we've got our CPU, our memory. Just for now, I'm gonna give this two CPUs. Of course, you can go and up and down these CPUs as you need to, add the amount of memory, the amount of CPU as you need. What we are gonna do, the key thing right here is in the CD DVD drive area. I'm gonna click on this area right here and select data store ISO. And here is where I actually I'm gonna point this to the ISO that we've just downloaded and uploaded into this place, okay? So here's my Windows 11 ISO that has been uploaded to my data store. Select, and there it is, okay? Next, summary, and finish. What we do from here, here it is, Windows 11 demo. I can select it, I can now power it on to get it started. Let's click on the console, so we can actually see what is going on. Open up a browser console, and there you go. That's a really good sign. Because it has booted, you're seeing the Windows logo, it means that it's actually found the ISO. The ISO has booted 
and then the Windows 11 installation is now beginning. And there it is. So I now select the basic settings and I go through the steps on how to actually configure our Windows 11. We can say install. The setup is now starting. So now you select which particular version of Windows 11 you want to get installed. We're gonna be selecting Windows 11 Enterprise, selecting next. Agree to those license terms if you're happy with those. We're now gonna select custom. Now at the moment I've got just the one drive and in here it's detected that it's a 32 gig drive and we're selecting next. The installation of Windows 11 will now commence. We'll take a bit of time and then it may reboot a couple times and then we're presented with the login screen. So the VM has now rebooted, Windows 11 is now installed and you now go through the basic configuration as you would normally, selecting your country and all of the basic customizations. So the very last thing that we wanna do now with Windows 11 installed is to install VMware tools, super, super important to do. What we need to do is go into our actions area on the very top right hand corner and go to guest and then select install VMware tools. VMware tools will of course make your Windows 11 work a lot more smoothly and flow better between Windows and ESXi. And there's also some functionality that actually improves the whole experience. So click on that. So the prompt may pop up automatically. If it doesn't, go into the Windows Explorer and under your DVD drive, there is the installation, okay? So we're just gonna go and follow that install. And then your VMware is done and installed and ready to go. Hey, also remember to let me know in the comments below what version of VMware ESXi you are running. And also check out my training course again if you do wanna know more about VMware. Do what you do in the socials by also subscribing, clicking on that button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. I release a lot of videos around all things tech, a lot about Windows, a lot about VMware. So subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those. But that's it. Thank you so much for spending the time. Really appreciate it. We'll talk to you next time.